Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Working on a 2016 Honda Civic EX today. It is super hot out here in Florida. Today is September 27th, 2016, and it is still scorching hot in Florida. But that's fine because I love it. I'd rather be hot than cold any day. So anyway, I've got my 100 gram Japanese ultra fine clay bar that I'm going to do a demo for you today with but I also want to explain how I sell clay bar treatment or decontamination now removing all the contaminants from the car is the ideal solution that is the point however the problem with doing that is that it takes a very long time and those contaminants aren't literally gonna make the paint or the clear coat fall off the car. I believe in total decontamination, completely utterly. Now, the problem is perfection is not reality and you guys have heard me preach that before. So the way that I go about selling clay bar treatment is I give you an option basic clay bar treatment a little bit more effort or as good as I can get it now the problem with as good as I can get it means I've got to spend a whole lot of time doing it now the problem with that is my time is valuable and yours should be too so the problem with perfection is well it's not reality, especially because things look far better on paper than they do in real life. So with that said, I give an option. I really skip the better and go straight for the good or best option. I give you, I give you the option for me to wash clay seal, which, you know, again, the pricing reflects what I need to do to get about 80% of contaminants off. And that's, that's realistic. And that would be my basic clay bar, clay bar treatment. And the reality in there is even the best situation is the best that I can do without overrunning with time and money, which would be realistically more like the better because best is unrealistic. So I sell two different ways. I do a basic clay bar treatment or an advanced clay bar treatment. The basic clay, clay bar treatment, if I had to put a number on it, like I said, is about 80% contamination removal. Uh, the better would be more like 90% contamination removal. Again, doesn't even matter. Most people will benefit from the basic clay bar treatment for multiple reasons, but mainly because you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between my basic and my advanced. Realistically, you don't, nobody's gonna take a microscope to the, to the paint and find contaminants and point them out and not pay me the extra few dollars uh, to, to, to do the advanced. Like, the problem there is I'm spending more time and you're not getting any more benefit from it. So the basic is mainly what I try to sell because that's where most people benefit from. Getting 80% of the contamination off the paint makes a whole lot of sense. Any farther past that is really not gonna yield any better results in real life. Again, on paper, whatever. But this 100 gram ultra fine clay bar that I import from Japan, it literally says made in Japan right there on the package. I don't know if it'll focus in, but it says made in Japan. So I import these from Japan because I love them. I have used clay bar into alternatives in the past. I'm sure you guys have seen all my videos from the past six years on YouTube. And I have used clay bar to alternatives. They're awesome for prep. They're not awesome for everyday real world detailer life. That's the problem. Again, on paper, they're awesome. In real life, not amazing. They're not as versatile as the original clay bar and so I currently do not use clay bar alternatives when I'm going to decontaminate paint I'm going to use my Japanese clay bar it's a high, high very high quality bar um, that 
it's ultra fine in the sense that it's not going to strip uh, or it's not going to mar the paint. So when you're using it with the infinite use detail juice, which I'm about to show you, it's not scratching or scuffing the paint at all. It is removing heavy contaminant contaminants, but it's not scratching the paint, which is the problem with those clay bar alternatives. They are absolutely marring the paint, especially it's especially noticeable on the softer paints. So I got away from using those when I found this particular bar, and this is why I sell them because I use them. I'm only going to sell you products and equipment that I use myself. I'm not like all these other manufacturers that just want to make money on whatever they can. I sell you what I use and what I use has been proven to work. I'm not some random guy sitting in an office all day. I'm out here doing this work just like you want to be doing. I'm doing the real world testing that these other manufacturers only dream of having results from. Um, or even they're hiring these people that used to be detailers 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Times change, people change, you gotta be in the know right now. Economy changes, sales for the most part doesn't change, but you've gotta be able to adapt to your surroundings, your environment, and the times that you live in. So what I'm getting at is clay bar alternatives do not work in real world settings in my opinion, especially if you're doing more than just polishing. So if you're gonna, if your plan is to, to make money detailing, and in my opinion, it's in the maintenance area, not necessarily the correction area. Uh, there's you know more jobs that are widely available, you know more job security in the lower priced situations, and you can still accumulate the same amount of money. Hey guys, just keep in mind, I'm not saying don't do the advanced job or don't take the advanced job. If the customer is willing to pay for it, you should do it. Do what the customer wants. What I'm saying is, in order to be successful in detailing, you have to modify your situation on a situational basis. That means you need to do what the customer needs. Find out the customer's budget, what they want, and reality, and blend those all together. And I can tell you that my basic clay bar treatment is all that most people want. They're more than happy with that. They can see the results. And generally with the advanced clay bar, you're hard pressed to see the results. And customers want to feel and see the value in what they're being sold and or what they're purchasing. That's what I'm saying. That's what's important is modifying what you will do to meet the customer's expectations, needs, budget, reality, all of that. So keep all of that in mind when you think, well, Gary Dean just said don't take those advanced jobs. It's not true. It's all about the money. If the customer is willing to pay for it, you should be willing to do it. If the customer won't benefit either way, it is your job to qualify that customer per what you sell them and the level in which you do it. I hope that makes sense. Um, the bottom line is clay bar alternatives are not my favorite. Uh, they do work for prep if you're going to polish afterwards and that's really what matters. But if you're going to wash clay bar to decontaminate and then put any protection on and you want to not have any marring or any scratching or anything like that this is the bar that you need it's at detailjuice.com so with the basic clay bar treatment i'm going to show you that i basically go over everything until i don't feel the contaminants in the bar you can feel the stuff when you go over the surface now the difference between the baggie test, when you put your hand in a plastic bag after you've washed and dried the vehicle and glide your fingers through that bag over those contaminants, you can feel them through the bag. The difference is night and day. Now obviously I can't show you that on film, I mean you can't feel what I feel. But what you can do is do it, do your own testing. And that's what I tell you with anything. With 
product dilutions, with um, you know the way that products are used. Do your own testing. Check that stuff out. All the listings on the labels are recommended so that you can get started somewhere. Now, especially all of my products. You know, all the, the labels are written per what I find to be the best way to start. But do your own due diligence. Check on your own, you know, dilutions. You know, try things different ways. But anyway, back to the clay bar. So, I've got infinite use detail juice in this pump sprayer. And if you guys haven't seen that before, infinite use detail juice, boom, baby. The most versatile detailing product on the planet. Uh, this is the 100 gram clay bar. I actually, uh, when I use it, um, I split it in half. So I use 50 grams at a time. And this is what we have here is a 50 gram chunk of the clay bar. Um, the other thing is people ask me how many uses can you get out of a clay bar? And the reality is it just depends on how heavy the contamination is. When you feel like you're not kneading the bar into a clean side, it's probably a good idea to discard it and go to the other half or get yourself a new bar. Um, you really have to do your own due diligence and pay attention to that. Uh, there's no set number, but I can tell you that realistically on an average car that's not incredibly neglected, I can get, I don't know, between four and six cars out of one half of a bar. So that's not a bad ratio. But um, as far as the demo goes, this car actually has paint all over the front of it and I gotta get that off. But as far as the demo goes, what I recommend is you spray the surface with the infinite use detail juice. Now this is diluted, um, this is diluted two and a half ounces of product to a gallon of water in that pump sprayer. And you literally take the clay bar, lay it on the lube, and you're not pushing into the paint. You're gliding it across the surface, being very even. Now again, same as when you wash, contaminate, contaminants, hard contaminants can get caught in the clay bar and you can scratch the paint like that too. So you wanna make sure you do a thorough wash prior to any kind of clay barring. And turn the clay bar, when you feel heavy contamination, turn it. Flip it over and knead it. This paint doesn't feel really bad. I'm just going over some of this paint uh, splatter to see if this is gonna remove it. Probably not, which is fine. I've got something else for that. But when you start feeling heavy contaminants, don't continue to use that size of the uh, clay bar because you're gonna potentially scratch the paint. Again, nobody has time for any of that. Now, this paint feels awesome. This clay bar removed a lot of contaminants from that paint. You notice all the black, the brown all the way around. I flipped it over. This was pretty much a new bar. I used it one other time, but you can see all the contaminants that this took off. Now you have to knead it. Flip it over several times. Pull it, stretch it, pull it, flip it, squish it until you've got a nice clean side to work with where your fingers will fit on top so you can glide it around just like this. So proceed to the other side. You cannot use too much lube. Ask your wife. I'm serious. There is no there is no way you can use too much lubrication when you're clay bar in a car. Lube is good. The lubrication is going to allow the bar to slide and glide across the paint. And really the lubrication, a good quality lubricant like the Infinite Use Detail Juice, is what is going to help in not scratching the paint. If you are going just direct to the paint, first of all, the clay bar will be all grabby and would leave marks behind. 
not because it's scratching anything, but because um, it is leaving itself behind. After you're done clay bar in a section, you take, uh, I, I like to use the, uh, the 16 by 24 waffle weave drying towel I sell on detailjuice.com and just dry all the lube off of that area. And then you can do the baggy test to test your results and make sure you got everything off the surface. Now that hood feels super slick, super nice and clean. And uh, the only thing left is all this paint overspray, which like I said, I'll have to get that separately, but that would be my basic clay bar treatment. Now, if it were worse than that, there is potential for me to have to spend more time. Now again, you have to upsell that. The advanced clay bar uh, process or the advanced decontamination, whatever you want to call it, needs to cost the customer more because it takes you more time. If the car is severely neglected, now again, this car is four months old. It's a 2016 Honda Civic and it's four months old. The owner bought it, tried to get it scheduled with me. I just didn't have time. And then when I did have time, she couldn't bring it over because she didn't have a ride. And I don't have time to be giving people rides all over the place. I don't mind giving a ride for a drop off, but at the same time, I'm a busy, busy man. So my point is I couldn't get to it for a while. And then she finally called and said, look, my car is getting gross. My kid is tearing it up. I need your help. So I said, okay, no problem. Bring it over. I'll give you a ride to work. You can pick it up later. No problem. I'll get it covered. And here we go. So basic clay bar treatment yielded amazing results. She wouldn't know the difference. Now, are there contaminants still on there? Maybe. Can I feel them with my hand? Nope. Um, will the customer even care? Nope. Um, does it matter at all that it's probably not 100% completely, utterly contaminant free? Nope. It's dramatically smoother. It is prepped enough to put wax or sealant or coating, whatever you want to put on, you know, waxes, you know, old technology that I don't personally prefer, but now, you know, I'm a polymer guy. I'm, I believe in strong polymers like the Juice Boost and the Vitality Shield um, and the Infinite Use Detail Juice. And my whole line is slam full of polymer-based products. Well, I should say water-based products that have polymers all up in it. So that's what I'm trying to communicate to you guys is that there are different levels to everything. And one of the things that I'm working on, and I, I mentioned in a recent video, again, this is uh, September 27th, 2016, and my videos are a timeline. Uh, especially this new channel is a timeline of, of, you know, you need to watch the date of the video that you watch. Uh, because every video I release new information for that particular day. Things change all day, every day for me on an hourly basis. And I want to keep you guys up to date. And that's what this channel is about. So the customer doesn't benefit in 99.9% .9 of the time from more than my basic clay bar process. If you need to do more, you got to charge more money because it takes you more time. Um, I'm not saying that I wouldn't suggest the advanced clay bar treatment. In fact, if I'm doing a car that's severely neglected, that's a really nice car where um, it would warrant more contaminant removal because I can continue to feel it, um, then there you go. I'm going to recommend it. They're going to, you know, I'm going to charge them the, the customer for it and that's where we're at. But you don't have to be meticulous with any part of detailing like the internet would suggest. You can save time and give the customer incredible value without spending all day trying to make something perfect. Follow what the customer wants, not what you want as a, a detailer or a, a craftsman, if you will. Make the customer happy and that's all that matters. That customer couldn't care less 
what product you use, what process you use, how much contamination is left. They're not going to get out a magnifying glass and a microscope to pick your work apart. It's the big things that they can notice. Like, you know, if you've got a uh, driver's side door seal that's slammed full of mud and you clean everything but that seal and it sticks out like a sore thumb. That's the obvious stuff that the customer is gonna notice. These microscopic things that the internet would, would try to consume your mind that you've gotta fix or you're, not, or you're a hack or you're not gonna be successful. Again, I'm not telling you that those perfection details aren't an option. I'm telling you that most people don't care about those microscopic particles that they can't see or feel. I'm telling you that you can make plenty of money detailing and doing what the customer wants. I mean, you've got those people who want you, you've got the people who wanna spend the money to get the best possible result. And they will go around with the white gloves and the Q-tips and that thing. That's fine, do that. You should work for those people if that's the kind of work you want. Personally, I wanna make the masses happy. I'm done trying to please those anal retentive, super hardcore people on a daily basis. Now, I'll still do that. I have lots of clients and I still take jobs from the people who want that. I am detail oriented like that. My point to you is, Focus on the masses, there's more money in it. There's more job security, there's more all of that. So I can babble all day long about this stuff, but clay bar is the way to go. This particular bar is amazing. If you got any questions, 813-846-4406. And uh, I sell a basic clay bar service with any time I'm gonna put protection on, it includes clay bar. So if I'm gonna wash clay bar and seal this car, I would basically charge them, and it just depends. Um, you know, maybe 150 bucks, sounds about right. I mean, wash clay bar and then put on some juice boost, or claying with the juice boost mixed in with the infinite use detail juice saves a bunch of time. Now, putting the infinite use, putting the juice boost on after the clay bar process is gonna yield better results, more slickness, more gloss, more protection, but you can cut the price down to tune the package to what the customer wants and their budget. So save yourself time, save the customer money if that's where it's at. Again, if that's not where the customer's at, if they don't mind spending the money, spend the time, period. Got any questions, 813-846-4406, and that, my friends, is how I sell clay bar decontamination. Have a great day.